What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Stand Up to Sitting podcast. I am your host and chief energy officer, Jeremy Abramson. Guys, I am so excited for everything going on in this conscious community that we are cultivating at such a high level. And it all begins with you because you are taking the time out of your busy day to dedicate to yourself your personal growth. Because we're so often putting time into other people and our job and our relationships, but we often neglect the most important conversations. And those are the ones that we have with ourselves. So I am so excited that you are here right now sharing your energy. It genuinely means the world. And I also want to just shout out Star Hawkins for Monday's show. For those of you who tuned in, we got such positive feedback about the stories that she told and the real vulnerability and authenticity that she told them from because Star has overcome a lot in her 31 years and so many people are going to benefit from those stories that she told. So I just want to encourage you. And we talked about this before, but you have a unique story. You have a voice and your voice matters. So it's so important that you share that voice, your stories with the people around you, because those experiences are going to ultimately help other people overcome their adversity. So don't be selfish. Don't hold it in. Talk about it. Share. That is how we create change. And one of the pieces of feedback, one of the reviews on the show was about Star's episode. And it's from Amanda Hilario. Kind of cool that we finally have a name with one of these reviews. Amanda says, this truly was an amazing podcast. I love Star and all of that she does for the community. And she's truly a genuine human being. Jeremy is awesome. He's so nice and sweet. His energy is contagious. I look forward to hearing more podcasts. Thank you so much for taking that 18 seconds out of your time, Amanda, to leave that review. It generally really helps. It really helps with all these crazy algorithm. So guys, if any of the shows or any of the content that I've put out over the last couple of years has resonated with you, it would mean the world to take a couple seconds and just drop a review and let us know your feedback. All right. So I want to just give a little context to today's recording studio. I am in the sixth floor of my hostel here in Barcelona, Spain. It's 1.42 in the morning, and it's totally my fault because I was supposed to record this show earlier this afternoon, but we were doing so many fun things in the city that I never ended up making it back to the hostel. I just stayed out and you know, was experiencing different sights, different sounds, different people, and everything that this amazing city has to offer. So if you haven't been to Barcelona, I highly, highly recommend it. I've been to a lot of different cities and countries and Barcelona is at the top of my list for everything that it has. It literally has so many unbelievable hotspots, history, food, people, energy. It's really a special place. So today's show, we're going to talk about three more lessons and takeaways that I've had in the last week of my travels. So last week, I told you about my experience in London, and we spoke about three key takeaways from that first week. And this last week has been all Spain, so Madrid and Barcelona. And the three things I want to talk about and inform you about from this past week is THC, THC. And I'm not talking about tetrahydrocannabinoid oil, okay? I'm not talking about the THC that makes you feel high. No, because we're high off that stand up to sitting life. 
Because when you're standing, you're moving. And when you're moving, things are happening. Because when your body moves, your brain grooves. Anyways, so this THC is all about this past week of travel. And the T stands for throw yourself into difficult situations. What do I mean by that? As most of you know, I've been really dedicated to learning Spanish. It's something that I've really wanted to become fluent in for probably 10 years, but I've never really committed and I've never dedicated the necessary time it takes to get to that level of a language. I've traveled to different countries in small spurts and I've practiced, but I've never really committed. And this experience in Madrid, in Barcelona, I have gone all in. I've really made an effort to hang out with as many locals as I can because it's so easy when you're hanging out at a hostel and there's all these people from Australia, America, Canada. It's easy to get in that bubble of just hanging out with these really cool, interesting people and speaking English and just hanging out with other tourists. But I've made it a point to really connect with locals, going places, restaurants, parks where locals hang out. So I'm forced to speak the language. And we can take as many classes as we want on different subjects. But until we really throw ourselves in and immerse ourselves, that is where the true growth and the true magic happens. So T is throw yourself into challenging situations. You don't necessarily have to be prepared. As long as you operate with an open mind and an open heart, then most likely you're going to succeed and you are going to learn valuable lessons down the road. So T, throw yourself into challenging situations. H is for health. After all, this is a health and wellness podcast because what I've witnessed throughout my travels is so many people come to a new city and they prioritize the nightlife. They prioritize getting out there and, you know, going out, experiencing the culture. And, that, and that's totally okay. But in places like Spain, the nights don't start till 1 a.m. and you don't often finish till 6 So that puts yourself in a challenging position for the next day. So really prioritizing our health by hydrating, by consistently moving our bodies, because it's very easy to fall off track with the drinking, with the late nights, with the going out to dinners. It's easy to fall down that trap, but we need to create systems in place that allow us to maintain that consistent approach. So we talk about those non-negotiables, whether it's, you know, that morning routine of hydration, movement, gratitude, practice, whatever is most powerful and profound for you, make sure you stay on track while you travel because the healthier you are, the more energy you're going to have to see all of these amazing things and these amazing places. So don't limit yourself by falling down that trap of I'm on vacation and I'm just going to drink my life away, eat my life away. And I'm not saying to not indulge in those things because I've totally indulged in both of those going out and eating lots of really good, not necessarily healthy food, but we need to keep in mind that our health is our wealth regardless of the country we are in. So H is for health and C is for connect with community. We spoke about this, about throwing yourself into difficult situations with locals and and really having that authentic experience. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you probably saw in Madrid, I actually led to workouts. And these were with people who were following me on Instagram and who saw that I was in Madrid, so they sent me messages and we had the dialogue, but then I committed to making it happen because it can be a little overwhelming when you're 
WhatsApping or in messaging, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten different people and trying to coordinate a time and location in a city that you're not necessarily familiar with. But it's so special and unique to have those experiences and opportunities to connect with local people and local culture. So we've talked about the importance of taking your online relationships offline. So it's never been easier to connect with people across the world. So take advantage of 2019 and the incredible abilities that we have to garner attention from people that we would have never been able to reach or contact 10 years ago. This is such a unique gift that we need to fully unleash. There's nothing more valuable than connecting with other human beings and sharing stories and sharing laughs and learning about other belief systems and cultures. If we can all do more of that, then the world is going to be a much safer, compassionate place. And that is a world that I want to be in. That's a world that I want to raise my children in. So THC, throw yourself into those challenging situations and make sure you keep your health a priority. And also do not forget to connect with community. Connect. Connection is everything. All right, guys, we are going to cut it off right there under 12 minutes. I'm proud of myself because I have the tendency to ramble on, but I am not going to do that because now it is past 2 a.m. and your boy needs to hit the hay. I got another flight tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry ahead of time if there's an echo with this show. Like I said, we recorded it from a stairwell, but I love you, love you, love you so much. Thank you for all the love and support. And you already know what time it is. It's time to get your ass to bed and stand up to sitting.